Zhao Liying just dropped a nuclear bomb on the ratings with her new drama The Legend of Shen Li. We're talking 3 billion views, folks, making it the year's hottest Chinese drama. Not only that, but it was a reunion with co-star Lin Gungxin, and they even doubled down by producing the whole thing, fans went apeshit over their sizzling on-screen chemistry, and the after-party was a rager in Chongqing. Props for the dedication, she was also filming What a Wonderful World at the same time. The rumor mill went into overdrive next, claiming Zhao Liying would be hopping on a plane straight from the party to the Cannes Film Festival in France, the movie everyone was yakking about, She's Got No Name, boasted an all-star cast with Zhang Sheyi and Yang Mi, and it was premiering on the closing night. Apparently, Zhao Liying might have been in the running for the number two spot, which would have been a dream team up with Yang Mi, they almost never share the screen together, so it would have been a history-making moment. But then crickets. Festival time rolls around and Zhao Liying's a no-show. Reviews for She's Got No Name are mostly positive though, praising the fierce performances by the leading ladies and how they take a stand against societal expectations. Some critics felt it was a bit long-winded, but everyone agreed the acting was fire, especially Zhang Sheyi bringing the emotional thunder. So, why did Zhao Liying ditch Can? Buckle up because it's probably a combination of things. First, her filming schedule is crazier than a jacked-up squirrel on a Espresso. Second, she seems to prefer keeping things close to home and maybe wasn't too keen on any potential international mishaps. There's also the possibility she wasn't thrilled about sharing the spotlight with the equally dazzling Zhang Sheyi. But the rumor that takes the cake? Some folks are whispering that she was steamed about the movie using a fabricated rivalry between her and Yang Mi to drum up publicity. Whatever the reason, Zhao Liying's got her sights set on her upcoming projects. With the unseen sister and tiger wolf rabbit on the horizon, expect her to be back in the promo game soon, slaying the red carpet harder than a dragon with a manicure. We're talking next level fierce, so get ready for some serious fashion moments. Xiao Zhan's not letting up after stealing hearts in The Untamed. Dude just wrapped filming a legendary kung fu flick with director Shuka. But guess what? He's already onto his next challenge, a historical drama called Zhang Hai Chuan with director Zheng Xiaolong. But hold your horses, because here comes the real tea. There's a piping hot rumor that Xiao Zhan might be starring in a balls to the wall war movie titled De Xi'an Jinji. This flick would be a game changer for both Xiao Zhan and the production company. Noon Sunshine, known for making shows so emotional they'll have you sobbing like a baby. De Xi'an Jinji would be their first ever movie, and it's set during a brutal time in history, World War II folks. The story follows the epic battle of Shuangpai, showing how regular Joes and Janes transformed into freaking heroes to defend their homeland. The team behind the movie is a dream come true for any film buff. Director Kang Sheng is the mastermind who brought us the mind-blowing series Nirvana in Fire. And Noon Sunshine's big boss Ho Hong Liang is personally making sure everything runs smooth than a greased watermelon. Even though this would be Xiao Zhan's first lead role in a war movie, he's already a seasoned soldier on screen, having played military dudes in shows like The Youth Memories and Ace Troops. Basically, he's honed his skills and is ready to unleash his inner war hero on the big screen. Now buckle up because here's where things get messy. Rumors are swirling around the cast faster than a Shanghai typhoon. Deng Chao, who's married to the amazing actress Sun Li, might be playing Xiao Zan's right-hand man, and there's even a whisper of a legendary cameo from the Taiwanese actor Hua Jianwa. But the drama doesn't stop there. The female lead role has been a whole roller coaster. Apparently, Zhao Jinmai was cast at first, but word on the street is that Zhou Ye swooped in and snagged the spot. Talk about plot twists. While filming still going strong for Zhang Hai Chuan, and there's no official confirmation on De Xi'an Jinji yet, fans are already in a frenzy, with a production team that's the envy of the industry, a war story that'll leave you breathless, and a cast that could win awards left and right, De Xi'an Jinji is shaping up to be a cinematic masterpiece we can't wait to see. Stay tuned for more updates and confirmation on whether Xiao Zhan will actually be in this movie. This is one rumor that has us pumped. Tong Yan and Zhao Yaoding are ditching the ghosts and setting our screens on fire with their upcoming reunion in the sexy romance drama Du Shen Nu Ren. This is their first series together, and let's just say the chemistry they delivered in Chronicles of a Ghostly Tribe is about to get a major upgrade. Mark your calendars because filming starts in June. Du Shen Nu Ren is based on a novel by Yi Xu and unfolds the story of Lin John Chi, played by the ever stunning Tong Yan. John Chi is a total boss babe, a brainiac with a killer career who's not about to settle for anything less than what she deserves in love. A string of admirers might be lining up, but
but this queen is holding out for her king. Enter Hadashang, Zhao Yuding's character, who's sure to bring the charm offensive. Get ready for some hilarious misunderstandings at first, but trust us, it'll all lead to some seriously steamy romance and a power couple that dominates both their personal and professional lives. Tong Yan is already a pro at playing strong, independent women. Remember how everyone fell in love with her portrayal of Miss Wang in Blossom's Shanghai? This role is a perfect fit especially after she absolutely rocked motherhood and emerged as a total boss mom. Zhao Yu Ting, on the other hand, has been a bit more selective with projects lately. Focusing on quality over quantity, dude prioritizes his fam life with actress Gao Yuan Yuan, and you gotta respect that. But Du Shen Nu Ren has a crew that's seriously lit. Director Zhang Zaobo is the mastermind behind hits like Nothing But 30 and A Love for Dilemma, and screenwriter Chin Wen is the brains behind popular dramas such as Blossom Shanghai and The First Half of My Life. With a team this good, it's no wonder Zhao Yu Ting couldn't resist. So, buckle up because Du Shen Nu Ren is shaping up to be a mega hit. We've got Tong Yan's fierce talent and Zhao Yu Ting's undeniable charm, plus a production team that's already proven they can deliver. This drama is going to be a roller coaster ride of emotions, laughter, and romance, and we can't wait to see it all unfold. Keep your eyes peeled for more updates, because this is one series you definitely don't want to miss. Zhou Ye, the rising drama star who's been kicking butt in shows like Back from the Brink, might be facing a scandal bigger than a runaway dumpling cart. Her upcoming drama Legend of the Female General is supposed to be an epic smackdown with Zhou Ye as this warrior queen named Ha Yan, think Mulan but way more badass, supposedly. Fans are already freaking out over the behind-the-scenes clips of Zhou Ye and her co-star getting all lovey deve but here's the real tea. The internet is buzzing with rumors that Zhou Ye used a whopping five body doubles for one scene. We're talking stunt doubles, water doubles, and get this, a freaking horse double. The web is roasting her like yesterday's noodles, calling her a lazy princess who couldn't be bothered to learn how to ride a horse for the role. Zhou Ye's people are staying silent on the issue, so who knows if it's true or just haters gonna hate. But one thing's for sure, her company is pushing her hard as the next big thing in Chinese dramas. With Legend of the Female General almost finished filming, Zhou Ye's team is already hustling to get her next gig. Two hot contenders are in the running. Dexian Jinji, a war movie where she might co-star with the smoking hot Xiao John and Red Dance Shoes, a youth drama with a strong female lead. Apparently, Red Dance Shoes has some serious cash behind it, and Zhou Ye wants the role so bad she's rejecting other offers left and right. So, can Zhou Ye bounce back from this body double drama and prove she can actually act? Only time will tell, but we'll be keeping our eyes peeled for more juicy details. This story is far from over. Hold up though, even if the rumors are true, actors use body doubles all the time for dangerous stunts or stuff that requires special skills. One thing's for sure, this controversy has put a spotlight on Zhou Ye's career. Can she overcome the negativity and land that coveted lead role in Red Dance Shoes, or will this drama derail her meteoric rise to stardom? We'll be watching closely to see how it all unfolds. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't yell at me in the comments, but feel free to share your thoughts below. See you next time.